Hello, welcome to my channel. So I got my YD back up and running. Drilled this out for a quarter inch bolt. Tapped it. Everything's good. I upjetted the carb a couple sizes and really didn't mess with the pilot at all. I raised, I lowered the needle one position. It was getting too much fuel down low. Made one of my gaskets out of intake manifold for a Ford V8. That's what I use, the Felpro stuff. It's really, really good stuff for gaskets. Set up another tensioner here. It's one of my little custom made ones just with a bolt, a couple washers, and a nylon roller in there. A little sleeve works good. This is a spring I had temporary for a Nerf gun. Works real good. Gotta tighten my bolt every once in a while. I need to get a, an actual stud with a sleeve for that, but. Also welded on some uh, eighth inch dropout supports. I ran out of weld though. Because the uh, the factory dropouts, when you would tighten them up, the, the other side over there, it would spread apart. But they're in there real good. Much stronger like that too. And this is for my bike trailer. It's my fishing setup. Little fishing rig here. I'm going to, uh, in the future, I want to get rid of all the sides and stuff and find a ladder or something and some bars and make it just a little trailer with mounts for my tackle box and holders for my poles and net and stuff in my chair just where it's just real basic and kind of out and open but for now this works pretty good this thing pulls it without a problem just quarter throttle cruising about 15 20 no issues has plenty of power got my 100 pound test on here like spider wire <laughs> but figure I'd get a little video of it after I got it up and running I did drop the uh, front end a little bit about an inch and a half here and yeah, about 40 millimeter and it gave it a better chance to stand on the kickstand which it does I just uh, it leans kind of hard now but it actually stands on it now because <laughs> it was too high before uh, that's about it other than I had to uh, change the back rim because the innards of the bearings uh, part that holds the bearings on this side on my other rim exploded and it was tight it wasn't tight tight but what happened was the chain kind of uh, bind it up and it just locked it up and I changed the crank because the, the crank was bent real good so I just put, put that one on there for now pretty easy gear to pedal in third and low on the front so that was good I do have to get in our seat this one's all bent the hell on back <laughs> I have a another seat in the pile over here somewhere it's a kind of like a cloud nine seat I'm gonna put it on there and other than that, the bike should be ready to go. I'm going to try to get my aluminum seat brakes on the front. This needs tightened up. And I'm probably going to take one of these shims out to bring it closer to center here. And change the brakes because these alligator brakes, they, uh, they were pretty dang good. They still stop it, but I see the metal coming through on them so I might have to get another set of alligator brakes or just use what I got for now until they get here but there's a little update on my YD100 reverse cylinder build back up and going again 
I do want to change the spark plug to an NGK. It's still the stock one. Then I might be able to put a bigger, even bigger jet in the carburetor. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Later.